Hey folks, as torrential rains continue in our lovely city Pune, we bring you the seventh homeschoolers call. This time we are back again at Unschool and the co-op started with the traditional icebreakers. This time the icebreakers were one of my favorite games that I've learned from Lisa. The cool wind blows. Once everyone had their fun with the icebreaking games, it was time to get down to serious business. And by serious business, I mean the fun-filled activities that we do for our sessions. But this time, I have some bad news. As we were short on equipment, we were not able to cover all the parts of the co-op. And in this case, the sacrifice was Lisa's amazing literature co-op. Unfortunately, we were only able to cover Snehal's session on the heart. So Snehal continued with her series on how the body works and this time the coverage was for the body part, heart. Yes, breathing. 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 What's happening when you're breathing? Oh, that's how the monster looks like. Yeah, that's awesome. You can make it go. So Snehal took the first session for the younger kids and the session started by trying to find out where do you think your heart is? You think? Following this, Nehal got the kids to try and draw what do they think their heart looks like. Then there were some craft activities in which she got them to cut out the shape of their heart using paper. And then we all tried to find out what the heart sounds like. How does it sound like? Does anyone want to show me? Does it sound like? After that, we all try to find out what is the size of our heart. Hmm. And finally, the session ended with this fun-filled game where we found out how the actual heart works in pumping blood and oxygen to the rest of the body. So how the heart sends blood to the lungs, how the lungs give the blood to oxygen, the oxygen filled blood comes back to the heart, the heart pumps it to the rest of the body, the body uses the oxygen and then the blood comes back to the heart and repeats cycle. Once her session with the younger kids were finished, they swapped places with the elder kids and the elder kids came in to repeat the whole activity on a whole different level. After the two sessions were over, a lady by the name Shweta came in and shared with the kids how you can build your own tent. This was mostly done as a demonstration 
to show how it would be done in a real class. Okay folks, as you can see that slowly but steadily our homeschooling co-ops are increasing. We are getting more and more invitations from people from different places to do the co-ops there and more and more people are joining the co-ops. Every time we get to see new faces along with the usual suspects. As the community grows, I would love to invite each and every one of you to join us in this incredible journey. Also, if you like the video you just saw, please do like, share and comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel.